All right, what's up, guys? It's Mitch Ward, D80, and this will be the second part for day two of the guide. So, as I said, you should be farming as far as you can in Unrecorded History and Adventure, and you should be working on this. So, this is going to wrap up for day two, though. Day three is when real progression ends up starting. So, you need to keep farming um, and or keep doing as many stages as you can until you can promote a five star here to six star. This is something that should be done as you're entering day three. So I'm going to have this done as I start day three tomorrow. So you get this, this set you will put on Spectre Tenebria. And then from there you start truly playing the game. But I did just hit level 25. So I'm going to go ahead and show into here. Um, make sure your Archie challenges, you get all of this. I Like I said, I've logged in this account more, but I'm not touching any of the later rewards. So whenever we're talking about summoning for Tamarin, you're going to keep getting bookmarks. So for right now... I'm going to tell you to save your sky stones still. Uh, do not spend your sky stones on summons. Because sky stones primarily are going, you want to use them to refresh for stamina later. So you will run out of leaves. You will run out of everything as we get further into this guide. And you will want to keep a lot of this for early stamina, pushing content, um, and making more six stars while you have this buff event going. So you all should still have a ton of days left on this buff event. But the other earlier part of the guide, if you did not see it, it is, it's on the channel, but it's about joining in a guild. So we have gotten about 100 people into new player guilds today that all should be active players. If people become inactive, then we'll kick them. But if you need a, a guild, a link to the Discord will be down in the description. But the point of this guide is going to be talking about pets. And then I'm going to pull up a website that tells you about lab morale. And I might wait for the lab morale tomorrow. I don't think that's a really big deal because you don't have the characters geared yet. So day two, let's not worry about lab until tomorrow, but I will go over that. So as you're getting started, you're going to get a free pet right away. It doesn't matter which one, you just pick whichever one you like that looks the best. So I always like the little doggos, so I'm going to go ahead and take him. It's going to be a pet that gives two skills. Um, it gives, this one's a lesser charm and a um, common rune pet. So that's fine. I aren't going to end up using him. But as you're getting into doing pets, you are going to want to make sure that you are buying these tickets every week with gold. Do not spend any sky stones on this. Yes, pets are important, but you will get them over time. So no matter what, I know this is super expensive looking, but trust me, you will get the gold back tomorrow. Tomorrow's part of the guide is insane farming because that's what pets open you up to. So you want to spend the maximum amount on this. I'm going to tell you what you're going to be aiming for. So you spend 5,500,000. So that surplus of gold you had is gone. <laughs> you are now going to be broke for a little bit. So every single day you do get one free pet adoption. Always make sure to do this. So we're going to go in. I'm going to teach you how to do the basic of pets. And I'll go over a more in-depth pet guide later. So... We're gonna do five single summons real quick. You're gonna get the pet journals, which give you a little bit more, but I'm gonna talk about the important skills to look for on the first batch of pets. So let's just go ahead and fill up our pet thing. I think I think it's already full. Okay, so they each have things. This is actually the pet, one of the two that we want. So anything from B or higher, you can utilize for this guide because it is very important because we're gonna be farming unrecorded history nonstop while we get a 50% EXP buff from the new player. Uh, rewards so this is going to be very important to hope you get one of these or the double ap one and if you get both you have the best start you can get possible especially if they're both s you are golden so let's go ahead and we're going to sort by skill and see which skills we got so uh enhanced equipment's actually pretty good for a new account the equipment enhanced cost isn't as important because gold is much easier to get in this game now i already locked one that's enhanced equipment cost so this is the additional rare catalyst we'll lock it the nine hero exp is a lobby pet it's okay it does make your six starring more efficient if you do the super efficient method i'm going to show both methods tomorrow though so this is receive three common runes at a rank we'll keep that and we'll look for our b rank so this is these two are the most important 6.75 chance to receive double ap we'll go ahead and lock that and that's all we're going to worry about for right now yes you are going to want to hunt pet if you get any a rank with any of the hunt uh things if any of the things that say uh, drop an extra cat like this one, uh, it has hunt. If you get any hunt pets, just lock those for now because those will be really important as well, especially anything rank A or above. But all the rest of these, I'm not really worried about uh, for right now with them being lower rank. So we're going to go ahead and release anything that I did not lock that is B or below just, just to get through this really quick. 
So whenever you sell these, you're going to be getting this crystal memory currency. And that is how you level up your pets and then make your pets from a one star to a two star to a three star. So let's go ahead and summon a couple more. We are at eight, so I can do 20 more summons. So let's do adopt and let's do 20 more. So I have not gotten any S rank pets yet. So this double crafting material, if you were to get this one, lock it. Double crafting material is very good to get. Uh, this is okay, the selling gold, you'll want that later. So if you get this, um, you can lock it. I, you don't really sell a lot of gold at the beginning of the game. You mostly extract, so not as important. So this one is new. That's extra hunt. That's the one we just got. The rune ones are pretty nice to have, but I don't really push those on new players too much. So now that we're to this point, um, I'm just going to sell anything that is B or B. Well, actually, there was one B. I think I locked it. Oh, did I lock it? Oh, I didn't lock the, the one I was hoping. Or, I, I did. Okay, never mind. We locked it. Okay, we're good. So we have the double AP. Okay, so we're going to be able to make the pet we want. So we can go ahead and sell all of these. You want to save um, a couple of the pets that are got the swords next to them because we're going to be using those to promote our pet to try to get them to two to three star with the higher abilities. So we're at 14, so we can do our final 10 adoptions for the guide. Uh, we got no A skill or above. That's fine. So what we're going to be doing now is going to the ones that we locked that had the abilities we wanted. And the like I said, the first pet on first week you should focus on is going to be the um, rare catalyst drop and the double AP pet. So let's go ahead and level him up and then we'll synthesize him. Well, you got to unlock them to synthesize them. So it'll tell you a tutorial, but I'm just going to show you how to do it real quick. So for the first ascension, it doesn't matter. You can select to pick your appearance and then you want to select which... Uh, ability you want so you have to make sure you select the ability once you do this you want to make sure this is maxed out so you have the max chance of it going to the next rarity if you don't put this in here it's a chance to fail and then you don't get the higher rarity pet which is super annoying they made it to where you can always spend these to get exactly what you need so always do that so we'll go ahead and synthesize it and it make sure that this is everything you want and we click synthesize so now we have a two-star pet so this two-star pet has a side story Thing and then this but in order to get to the next step we are going to go ahead and level up this pet which is the double ap we will synthesize him if we remember how to do it so we go ahead and synthesize him just throw one of the low rarities on select skills in here we want the double ap select that appearance max this out and there we have two two star pets except i'm gonna lag okay so once this lag is done we're going to mix them two together. So the event side story currency is pretty nice to have too, but that that is not going to be one that I say is the most important at the beginning. If you do get an S rank or anything of that, save that. Basically any A rank and S rank pets that you get, just save those at the beginning. You shouldn't have pet overflow until next week, and we will be going into a deeper pet guide after of exactly what you want to be aiming for because at, at the end of the day, you're going to want triple S on all your pets. But the, for the very beginning, we want to get the most out of what we can while we have the buff. So that's why we're accepting A and B rank, what we're doing. So we're going to go ahead and level him up. And we're going to synthesize with this. Select skills to inherit. You can select both skills now. So we are going to want 1.5 and this. Confirm. And it takes 5. So by doing this, you should have enough to get exactly what you need for 3-star pet. I like this little ghost main guy. So we're going to go ahead and click it. It's going to say 1.5 to receive this. 6.75 to receive double AP. Synthesize it. Now we have a three-star pet that is going to give us the skills that we need or the skills that we want, and we are good to go. So we're going to go ahead and lock him just so we don't accidentally get rid of him, and we're going to go and throw him on our team. So by throwing him on our team, now when we're doing quest, we can do it to his settings. We can do 15 runs on auto. You can do them on auto and you can close out of what you're doing. So that is massive. That is what is everything's about. So this is where you're going to be getting your character up to six star very quickly. So what we're going to be doing is going into unrecorded history. I was able to clear up to stage 15 and then I stopped because 15, it got really close. So what you want to do for just all the time at the beginning of the game while you have this buff, you want to come into here. I say farming level five is the best because it has an epic catalyst drop. It will be a little bit slower, but this is going to be your best bet. You can just select any of them and then we're going to go ahead. I'll just heal him just so it looks better. And then you're going to click to do 15 runs in a row. So whenever we click this, it's going to go in. It's going to have this menu at the top 
And now it's farming at two times speed. It's going to farm through this and we can click this and play the game. We can have that running in the background, except for some reason there's audio. Okay, the audio is gone. Um, but now it will be farming that while you're doing anything else in your account. You can go do arena, you can go do whatever you need. And that is what's going to be getting you six stars while you're doing anything else within the game. And you can just let this run and watch a movie or anything you want to do. And it's continually making progression without you having to do anything. So as we, as you saw, I farmed unrecorded history up to level 15, giving me six more Breath of Orbises. So at, going back over this, we have 313. Second, we have 111. You never need to upgrade that from there. Heart of Orbis, you're going to want to upgrade this, but I say it's a lower priority than doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and put five. You want to max out your workshop because this is going to be how you get gear. This needs to be maxed on any account. You want it to cost as little gold as possible to craft. You want it the max chance of it being epic and heroic, and then you want the cheapest. So you want this maxed out no matter what. Super important to max this out. Next up... I am going to go ahead and get my alchemist sepal started. So this is really the middle one's the most important thing to do first. So put one into the middle. And then this makes it to where you can craft equipment materials and equipment. So if you go in, you can see charm equipment. You can do all of this. So we're going to max this out. And then next, once we get more, we're going to put them in ingredient storage because this makes it to where the stuff that you get back is higher quality and you have to put less into it. So this decreases the gold, but this decreases like the amount of everything else you need to do your equipment conversion and everything. So that is where you need to spend your Breath of Orbis for now. So other than that, that's the main part of the guide today is going over pets. In terms of Lobby Pet, I'm going to go ahead and put him on there because it's a great enhancement success. So whenever you get to, I would say, stage 15 in Unrecorded History, just go ahead and start auto-battling the stage that I showed you. Just set this to go, and the thing is, while that's going, now you can come into story and start clearing story up until you get stuck. Once you get stuck in story, you will then be able to, hopefully by the time you get stuck, you will have farmed this in the background enough that you can, so when this is farming in the background, you can always have the option to go back into it, and then you can exit and cancel it at any time, or you can cancel it from the main menu, but that will always be in the background. But once you get to a point where you can six star your Tyria, Tyria is going to be your first six star character, and then put this gear on Spectre Tyria, level it up as much as you, you want or have gold for at the time. Your gold will go up a lot, do not worry. But once you get to there, you're going to be poor for like a couple hours of playing the game, just know that. But once you get to there, you'll be able to clear further into the story and you just keep this farming on Unrecorded History, that same stage probably just while you're doing anything else the more you have this running in the background the better off you're going to be on your account so and as you get your characters a little bit stronger it'll start farming faster you can start taking raz and destina out and you can put other damage characters in so on the day three login tomorrow you are going to be getting a free attack set it's this attack set right here so you're going to be getting this i have not put on any character so i'm not cheating the guide in any way but you're going to be getting this right here and then you're going to be able to put that on a third DPS character to make your uh, unrecorded history farming even faster. But these are how my characters are geared right now, if any of you are curious what it's looking like. So here's the Tiara. She's on the free set. It gives her Spectrum Tiara's on the free destruction set that you get. Destina is going to be on this. So the attack set you get tomorrow is going to be going on one of your Wyvern DPSs, though. Um, that is what that gear is going to be for. So keep that in mind. It will be for a Wyvern unit. And then this is the Raz. This is what my characters are still... At, they're not upgraded at all and they're able to clear all the content up to this point so if that doesn't if that shows you you don't need much to be able to clear a very large chunk of the early story so that's really all i have to cover next few things you need to do before we get into the uh, third day of the guide tomorrow you're going to be wanting to make sure to get as far as you can in story i've said that a bunch second you're going to want to make sure you're at four out of five on your labyrinth so make sure you're going in it, you should have already cleared all this and you should spend one token on area one and try to fully clear it if you can i will be making a lab guide tomorrow uh, i was going to do it today i'm going to make it tomorrow because that's where you'll have more character options by the end of the day and you'll be able to burn your resources uh, much more efficiently because you get a higher morale team so i'm going to link a website in tomorrow's video that you put any character you have built in there 
and then it will give you the best combination of your camping whenever you're in lab if you stop you can camp and you get two voice lines it'll tell you the best combination you can do to get the most morale out of your team so that will be part of the guide tomorrow next up make sure you're doing abyss you should be to about floor 17 i think a lot of you will be to 18 or 18 or 19 if you use the leaf to buy so this is one option you have is you can do this and you can use a leaf to buy two of these per day so you can continue using this team get as far as you can in abyss uh you get the abyss tokens that allow you to go further from the adventures path challenges and then lastly check this and make sure you're all caught up you've claimed all your um things you can do collect your d daily dice and then one thing that i wanted to make sure you guys do is go to forge your epic gear so if you're watching this guide in the future this will not be here there will be other things but if you are doing uh, this right now or if you're doing the guide right now watching it within like a month of me uploading it go here go to this and click participate down here so it starts tracking your points right away i will talk about this briefly in the guide because this is a guide that people will watch six months from now and this won't be in the game anymore but for those of you that it is in the game for i'll make sure that you can get uh, i'll tell you what piece of gear to go for within this and it is going to be an insane piece of gear that you'll be able to start out but in, in the future if you don't see this there's probably another thing that's going to give you sometimes to do events like these that get moonlight five characters you can pick any one you want they've done some crazy events in the past so if you see this and you're not getting a crazy free piece of gear you'll probably be able to get a free piece somewhere else but also there is the original thing that gives the 10 or uh, seven days of 10 summons or nine summons. Make sure you grab that item. Someone asked about that earlier. It's within this thing. You click it. And then once you beat chapter 10, 10, you'll be able to claim it. It'll go to your mailbox and you click it and you'll get uh, nine free summons every day for seven days. But that is all I have for this part of the guide. Hopefully the pets, uh, that will help you get your correct pet and kind of t tell you what to lock in terms, just like anything that's a rank or above for right now. Uh, especially anything S rank, just lock it. And I will go over an in-depth pet guide probably within about 10 days from now. You'll, you'll use this pet. Well, maybe a little bit sooner. I'll do a more in-depth pet guide. But for right now, that's all you need is that one pet for under court history. But it's been Mitch Rodiate. If you're new to the channel, if you want to subscribe, if you haven't joined the Discord, join it down below. If you need a guild, join the Discord. Type in there, you need a guild. We will get you in a new player guild. But um, that's all I got for this video. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, there will be a lot to do. So just keep that in mind, but peace out.